because it's been a while since I did a travel style vlog and they are by far my favorite things to film. They're really the only reason that I started posting on YouTube is to like document my traveling. Today we are treating Memphis as though we are tourists even though we're living outside of Memphis right now and we are doing the one thing that everybody asks if we're gonna do when we said we were moving to Memphis and that is Graceland and then before we do that we are going to a restaurant that Elvis used to frequent his <laughs> have his favorite meal there which is a fried peanut butter and banana so Hopefully the wait isn't too long because we do have scheduled tickets for Graceland, but that's the goal is to go to the arcade. Founded in 1919, the arcade has seen many a rise and fall of Memphis and survived through it all. You can feel the history in the building, the worn tabletop physically showing you the thousands of elbows lifted to raise a fork or a mug over the years. Breakfast was pretty good. It's the oldest diner in Memphis, so that's pretty cool. It was founded in 1919. The best thing that we tried was definitely the fried French toast. And now we have like 30 minutes before we need to leave to Graceland, so we are gonna go just walk down Beale Street. Beale Street, once bustling with everything over the years from carnivals to the birth of blues is eerily empty on a Sunday morning, but despite this, the iconic street is a must-see when visiting Memphis. We made it to Graceland. This place is a whole compound. It's huge. So we're gonna go find where we're supposed to be meeting and our tour is in like, it's like in another 20 minutes, isn't it? <laughs> Graceland before. Now you have. Tickets to Graceland are not cheap, running about 80 bucks a person, but what is included in your ticket is quite a bit. You get a full tour of everything you're allowed to see in the actual Graceland mansion, which is pretty much preserved from what it looked like in the 70s. Along with that, you have access to a bunch of museums showing Elvis's cars, Elvis's jumpsuits, Elvis's everything, which is very cool, along with a tour of his private jets. So you get to decide if that is worth the cost. I feel like visiting something so iconic makes it kind of worth it. Good morning. We are having a, another Memphis day. I think I ended kind of abruptly on the last day just with Graceland. Now we are going to the infamous Bass Pro Shops Pyramid, but we're starting by eating at Central Barbecue. Apparently in Memphis, people have very big opinions about what the best barbecue is, and Central Barbecue is on the list of ones that people pick as the best. So we're gonna try it out and then head over to Bass Pro Shops. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I love a loaded nacho. I wish the mac and cheese was a little thicker, but it'll do the job. Okay, my verdict on the barbecue, we have been to Corky's a couple times and then we went to Commissary, which is in Collierville, and I would say that Corky's had better sides. Did you like their ribs better at Corky's? I said that Corky's has the best ribs. Okay. The brisket at Central Barbecue was so good though. Probably the best brisket I've had in Tennessee, I dare say. It was really good. But the, the mac and cheese, a little bit watery. The pork nachos were really good. Just nothing like mind blowing, but very good. So now we are on our way to Bass Pro Shop Pyramid. I'm gonna go see the iconic massive pyramid. I feel like to gain an understanding of the scale of this building, you have to look at those people up there. <laughs> look how tiny they are. This is um, Redneck Disneyland. Yeah. 